the Kalahari Desert. It's an arid land covering about 350,000 square miles of the southernmost region of the African continent. In October during the daytime, the sun heats the air to 37 degrees Celsius. And at night, the temperature drops to 17 degrees Celsius. In some places, the desert is covered with grasses and plants, while in others, there are vast salt plains. This is home to numerous animals whose bodies have adapted to survive here. They choose the most habitable areas of the desert with shrubs and even trees, which sometimes form entire forests. An animal's life here is not easy, especially if it was born in this harsh environment. They'll spend entire days and nights in search of food, a potential partner for reproduction, and of course, a safe place to sleep. That's what this African ground squirrel is doing right now. It manages to dig burrows as opposed to the other squirrels living in the trees. The goal of this activity is to create a safe shelter from predators and escape from the day's heat. The depth of these holes can reach up to four feet in their attempt to stay cool. Squirrels are always on the alert, which is why they're constantly looking around at their surroundings. There are plenty of predators here, too. Being at the bottom of the food chain, ground squirrels are cute, but small animals with total length of the body, somewhere between 16 to 18 inches and a weight of 600 grams, they're just a measly morsel to some of the predators. What helps them survive in the desert are their good reactions and running speed. Their main enemies are snakes, lizards, and jackals, and various birds of prey that can attack them from above. This one has just found the root of a plant in the ground to chomp down on. These nimble creatures are mainly vegetarians, feeding on stems of grasses, leaves, seeds, and roots, although sometimes a beetle provides a quick, easy snack. African ground squirrels are social animals helping each other to survive. By rising up on their hind legs, they announce the beginning of guard duty. Watching through the tall grasses or shrubs, they're ready to make alarm calls if they feel threatened by predators. A special squeak alerts others to incoming danger. Ground squirrels live in small groups with about one to three females and two to three babies. Females can breed throughout the year Adult males live separately from the females in groups of up to 19. Ground squirrels can use their bushy tail as a sun umbrella. Many parasites live in their fur, and only their sharp claws and teeth can help the ground squirrels remove them. After a relaxing dust bath, it's time to clean their body and tail. Meerkats, or surrogates, lead a similar way of life to ground squirrels. They're another native to southern Africa that have spread throughout the entire territory of the Kalahari Desert, belonging to the mongoose family. Meerkats live in large groups of anywhere from 20 to 50, where the alpha female is dominant. 
they create large burrow systems with their long curved claws. While digging holes, their small black ears can close to prevent the sand from getting in. These small creatures have light brown striped fur with a gray and brown tint. Their dark skinned belly is only sparsely covered with hair. So, after chilly nights, they stand on their hind legs to warm it up in the sun and then continue to forage for food for the rest of the day. Some meerkats act as guards, standing upright on two legs, while the others search for food. Meerkats have adapted to living in this harsh desert environment. Look at their eyes. It feels like all meerkats always wear sunglasses. The eyes are surrounded by dark patches that help to reduce the glare of the sun and allows them to take in a wide-angle view of a scene. Their serious pointed faces and big black eyes along with an excellent posture make them funny yet attractive animals. You can meet these interesting creatures only during the daytime when meerkats come out of their holes and go hunting for food in groups called mobs or gangs. Danger lurks at every step, but they stay on guard protecting their territory and in the case of a threat, they make loud calls alerting the approach of a lizard snake, a jackal, or hawk. Meerkats always use their strong claws to attack their prey. It's no problem for experienced meerkats to find a fat and tasty scorpion due to their highly developed sense of smell, hearing, and vision. Meerkats are also immune to snake venom. Unlike humans, they are also relatively resistant to the venom of scorpions that inhabit the Kalahari Desert. However, the sting of a particularly dangerous species of scorpion can be deadly for meerkats. They have developed a technique for getting the stinger out of the dead scorpion and brushing off any remaining traces of venom in the sand. And then both adult and young meerkats can safely eat the prey. The most interesting thing is that meerkats not only bring dead scorpions to their pups, but also teach them how to hunt and eat these dangerous creatures. It's amazing how all these mammals and birds live in this inhospitable environment, but yet they manage to survive. In this series of nature documentaries about the southernmost region of the African continent, you'll see various life forms and enjoy observing flora and fauna in their natural surroundings. Stay with us.